I am supposed to be getting married in two weeks, but my fiancé does not want me physically anymore. Sir, I am engaged and madly in love. And everything is perfect. Well, except for one thing. My fiancé never wants me physically. Never shows interest in me that way and when I do tells me to stop or changes the subject. Continuously. Any time I try to figure out what's wrong I'll ask why it is they don't want me like that anymore. They just keep saying they do. But I my mind won't let me believe that anymore. I never get compliments. They never flirt and they seem to sometimes as much as be disgusted by my showing. Interest in that way. I am always turned down. And it has honestly been taking a really big toll on me mentally lately. I feel like I am no longer good enough. Or maybe that I'm not beautiful to them anymore or that I have done something wrong. And worse every time I express that and get the usual but I do want you I start to get mad. Because it feels like a lie. I am 27 and they are 30 and I'm lucky to have sex once every two months and even then they seem to feel like it's a chore. I feel really sad about it but it feels like they don't take it seriously at all. The wedding won't make this better. Postpone the wedding. Why does everyone still believe getting married will solve their relationship issues? I mean if you can't read the writing on the wall, then your marriage is doomed from the start. Call off the wedding. Getting married will not solve this. It will only make it worse. Believe me, I married a man who hid the fact he was gay. But even he managed it i.e. full sex on a regularly basis. Right up until he got the ring on my finger it all stopped after that apart from when he wanted to conceive the children. Please reconsider. To me, this is a deal breaker. This was me. Unfortunately it does not get better. It my experience. After marriage and a child it only got worse. Think very hard about this decision because never feeling desired or wanted in a marriage becomes very painful and creates resentment. At the very least go for a lot of couples counseling prior to the wedding. I think it's important to know how long this has been going on. I don't like how most jump to don't marry them. It is perfectly normal to hit dry patches and there are so many possible reasons for this behavior. They might be feeling pressured. Maybe they're under a lot of stress. Maybe it is because they are insecure or OP has changed in some way. Maybe it's because of hormonal imbalance. We don't know. I'd try to sit your partner down and figure out what's causing the problem. If you can't communicate. I'd postpone the wedding. And only after that. Playing devil's advocate here. The wedding could be stressing your fiancé out heavily and lowering their sexual desire. Weddings are stressful times even if they're extremely simple. Unless your wedding plan is chapel o' love via Elvis in Vegas simple. I'd sit down with them. Don't be accusatory or defensive by any means. And explain your position to them and feel out what the root cause might be. Sounds like you're already married. Postpone the wedding and go to therapy. If they don't want to. There is your answer. In that case. Call off the wedding. My husband acted like that and cheated on me. Please don't get married if this is what's going on. I did and it only got worse. I gave him half of my life and now I'm in my 30s and single with two kids and still living with my ex because we have a house and can't afford another one. Well yay I'd pull back from the wedding. Weddings and or babies don't fix these things. I feel like whenever I've heard similar accounts from other women there's often an underlying porn addiction. Porn can desensitize someone. But like others have said, 
Getting married isn't going to improve your problems. Definitely postpone the wedding until you get this sorted out. Have you talked to them about them possibly being asexual? Also have you fully sat them down and told them how this is all affecting you? These conversations need to happen before you walk down the aisle. Yo if it's like this now. Y'all are going to get divorced and this isn't going to get better. Maybe he is cheating or he realizes that he might be gay. It might seems hard for you since you are in love. But it's better to walk away from the relationship. If you marry you will be unhappy and regret getting married. Do us all a favor and leave. Don't marry into a dead bedroom. Leave him. Sex is a huge part of a relationship. If he's not satisfying you, how can you continue a relationship if it's getting to you? You feel inadequate. You should feel wanted. Not get turned away. Get out now. Do they have a medical thing going on that impacts libido? When have they seen a doctor? It might be hormonal or something medical. Do not get married to this person right now. Put the wedding on hold and figure this out. Do not get married. Not unless they can give you an actual explanation as to why. You should really get into couples counseling. There could be any number of reasons for this that aren't actually related to you directly. But it needs to be addressed before you two sign a document saying you're legally bound to each other. The last thing you want is to tie the knot and find out something is really off with the relationship. Communication is too important. And it sounds like the communication right now isn't working. Was sex before this regular? Because if they proposed or you did but the sex wasn't what you wanted, then that was the wrong choice. If it's something that just sprung up right before the wedding, it could be that stress nervousness is not letting them perform and that's why they don't want to. Maybe they want to save it for the wedding day. IDK. It's something you need to sit down and talk about now. It could also be cold feet. Either way don't leave it in limbo. Force them to talk or call off the wedding. 20 years in. Intimacy is still a chore and I'm still left always feeling like a burden. So yeah it's not gonna change. This. Will. Not. Get. Better. Ever. Please listen to the advice from those who have been in your situation. It's funny how everybody presume OP is a woman and fiancé is a man. But fiancé is a woman. My husband used to be the same way. It's gotten a little better but he had back surgery before we met and that hindered his sex drive. Maybe this isn't a you problem but a sex drive problem. Maybe your partner needs to see a doctor and tell them what's going on so they can run tests too. Figure it out. I married a guy like this and divorced him very quickly. I'd avoid the hassle. It's inconvenient dealing with a divorce. Let me tell you from experience. It will not get better after marrying them. It will get worse. If you aren't comfortable cancelling the wedding, postpone it a while and enter couples therapy too. See if it'll improve. If it doesn't, I'm so sorry to say, but you do not need to marry that person. It's almost certain it won't last as the rejection will turn into resentment and eventually you'll fall out of love. Love has to be nurtured both physically and emotionally. I'm sorry. Op. I had a sexless marriage. It was awful. You don't have to live like this. Wishing you the best. Don't get married you'll regret it.